Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Sam with Sodas Exotics. Today's video, I'm gonna go over probably one of the more non-typical videos that a lot of keepers do, and that's some of the failures that I've had this year because every year, everybody's gonna have failures. Nobody has a perfect year when it comes to keeping reptiles. Um, thankfully, I've never lost any animals this year, but I did lose some eggs, and that is the biggest issue that I had and that I'm working on fixing right now. So stick around, and I'll tell you all about some of the biggest mistakes that I made in 2023. So, reflecting on the year 2023, this has been probably the best year in terms of reptiles that I've ever had because my collection is at the biggest it has ever been. I was able to purchase a house with my girlfriend and we have a full basement full of reptiles now. I've met lots of great people. I got involved in some really great groups. I obtained so much more knowledge and I obtained some new animals and learned about these animals as well. However, my biggest failure in 2023, and by the way, I'm recording this video a couple days before Christmas, but this isn't gonna come out until, it's probably be my first January video. So this isn't gonna come out till 2024, but you know, looking back, I just wanted to go over all that. However, if you guys have looked over some of the videos that I have made throughout this past year, as in 2023, I had quite a few videos on some Herman's tortoises eggs. I had, I think one of my females had a triple clutch, one of them double clutch, and another one had a single clutch. I'm not sure exactly. Um, how many clutches there were from how many females. But, you know, I at one point, I think I think throughout the whole span of 2023, I had about 15 eggs incubating and not a single one hatched. Now, granted, some of these females, it was their first time laying eggs. So it is to be expected for them not to hatch. However, going through and looking back, a lot of these animals appear to be fertile. They were chalking, which is basically where the egg turns a little bit white around the outside, where you can see it basically has a line of white, which is the first indication of fertility. Fertility. Also, I had noticed veins when I would candle them. So basically showing that these eggs were perfect and they had the potential to hatch out some new life. Issue is, not a single one of the eggs that I incubated over this past year has hatched. And there's two main reasons why. The first reason is I ended up keeping the substrate medium way too moist. And with that, it caused some of the eggs to go moldy and bad. Now, there are cases where people, you know, with snakes and other animals, they can have moldy eggs and they still hatch out just fine. However, this... It was just, I think in combination with the other issue that I had, caused them to essentially just go bad. Um, the second issue that I had with the eggs is I incubated them way too high of a temperature. I was incubating them at 89 degrees. So essentially I was cooking these eggs and this is all my fault. It's all user error, but that's what happens. And I've accepted the fact that you're gonna have some issues. And the good thing is, is that these animals never came to term um, so it's not like, you know, this was a live animal that it was cooking to death or something. These are animals that never even got the, they never, they only just had the beginning stages. So they didn't feel any of this. Unfortunately, they didn't die, which sucks. Um, but again, it's not like they felt any of it. They never probably got past way too past the embryo stage. However, now knowing this, I have taken some different steps to prevent this from happening in the future. I am using a much more well-drained substrate medium, which will not hold as much humidity and moisture. And this will hopefully cause the eggs to be more healthy. And I am not gonna be incubating them at 89 degrees. I'm gonna be incubating them at 85. And right now, the good news is, is I had one more clutch dropped in 2023. And that was late November. Um, at the time of recording this video, we're in a couple days before Christmas. So basically mid January, maybe late January, these eggs are due to hatch. I do want to show you guys what we got going on. So you can see here, 86 degrees, that's still okay. And it's about 85 humidity. And when we candle these, this one not looking too promising. This one has a lot going on. You can see some veins 
and this one as well. You can see tons of veins in there. So I'm not gonna bother them too much, but we do have some eggs incubating and I'm hoping this last 2023 clutch will be successful. So the important thing to take from this is that you guys are gonna make mistakes. I make mistakes. Experts that I know have been doing this for 20, 30, 40 years, they make mistakes. It's all a part of keeping these animals. It's a learning experience. And you know, I'm not afraid to show the mistakes I've made. Um, I've learned from it and you know, these last three eggs, two of them for sure look good. So I'm hoping that at some point early 2024, all those mistakes will come together to make one success and that will make me pretty happy. Um, yeah, it sucks that I lost a ton of eggs this year, but you know, this next breeding season coming up, I have dwelled into better resources and I now have a better idea of what I'm gonna do to prepare better as well as to take care of these animals during the incubation process and really hoping for some success in, well, I guess this year, if you're watching it uh, in 2024, which you will be. Um, but, you know, I, I, I am hopeful. So I made a lot of different changes and we got a lot of good stuff coming up. And I'm hoping that we can get some leopard tortoise eggs because our female leopard tortoise is digging right now. And we're looking to get a male Conixus homiana or Holmes hingeback tortoise to pair with my females. And then hopefully we can get some uh, homiana eggs as well. But, you know, I'm not going to jump into anything too crazy because who knows what's going to happen. You know, a lot of curveballs will get thrown our way. However, 2024 is looking pretty good so far. I am hopeful for these eggs and I will update you guys as soon as these eggs begin to hatch if they hatch and we will show you how we set up the babies and uh, get these eggs all prepared. Nonetheless, I did get a cool t-shirt uh, sweat hoodie made with my logo on it, but the company that made it made it really light. So they're actually sending me another sh uh, hoodie for free. So pretty cool. I, um, I don't have merch yet. I just decided to buy this and make it custom made for myself. But uh, hopefully down the line, if I ever get big enough, then we can maybe make some merch. And I also got some awesome labels for all my enclosures. So it's just these little things adding up together that are making this so much more better and so much more entertaining to keep all these animals. Um, the labels for me are awesome. Like it's just having everything labelized and all that. So I think at some point when I finish my American green tree frog um, terrarium or bioactive enclosure, I'm going to do a full room tour. I do have one more enclosure. Actually, you know, I need to really get rid of this Central American wood turtle enclosure. I don't need to put them in something similar to this with a bigger water feature, but I need to do some work on that. And I need to do some work with my Eastern Hermans. And I just need to add some plant life and some uh, plant uh, lights as well into my leopard tortoise indoor enclosure. So once I get all that done, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a full reptile room tour. And cause I know it's really entertaining for people to see. And I've never really gone in depth and shown everybody all my stuff. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. We got a lot in store for this uh, coming year here. And we're really excited to see what successes and even more failures that we have. So thanks so much for watching and we will catch you next time.